What's my ninjas? Today I'm going to show you guys how to add expressions to your 2D model. So basically if your artist has drawn you expressions and your rigger says that they added them to the file, this is how you actually implement them into your model to use in VTube Studios. Some riggers don't like add these expressions to your file so you have to do it manually. And I'm going to show you how to do that because I had to do it for this model. So I'm just going to pull up VTube Studio. As you can see, you're going to go to the cog wheel, go to the last slide, and it's basically your hotkey settings. So I've started adding stuff, but if yours doesn't have any, hit the plus button. You're going to do the hotkey action will be set slash unset expressions, hit select. Find the expression you want to add based on the hotkey. So I'm actually using my stream deck to do my expressions. And I will add, let's say, cheek puff. And for my stream deck, that's going to be for 8910. So key combination will be whatever you want it to be. For me, it's going to be F10. Now, what I mean by I'm using my stream deck is that it looks like this. Let me pull it up. So this is my stream deck. And for me, I went ahead and did this, like added images and already have like the hotkeys I want. I made a tutorial on this already. Go to that other tutorial on my channel to see how I set this up but I'm basing my VTube hotkeys based on my Stream Deck hotkeys. So going back to VTube Studios, you'll see this already. Now, if you want to change how long it takes for your expression to work, right now this is set for 0.5. I could change it to 0.2 if I want it to be faster. Some expressions do may want it to be faster. That's where you change it. I'm just gonna keep going and adding my next one. And that's it. You kind of just keep doing this um, until you have all the expressions that you want added. Now, some expressions, if your rigor made into a motion, instead of doing unset expression, you can hit play animation. I'm not exactly sure. This model doesn't have any motion expressions. My other model does, but anyways. Another thing you could do in case that you suddenly have like a ton of expressions going on and it's a mess. I actually like to add remove all expressions as one of my hotkeys and change it to whatever you think you will remember. For me, it's tab. Where is tab? Here we go. For me, it's tab caps lock. Like that's just in my mind. I'm like, oh, if I have all this going on now, if I just hit tab caps lock, it's all gone. So it's good to have just in case, you know, things go crazy. You'll also notice that you can actually do quite a lot of things here. Change backgrounds pretty cool. So you can, I can change the background that I'm in right now. Toggle scenes, toggle items, just like, it's very self-explanatory, but everything you need in order to do hotkeys is going to be in this window. Just scroll down on the right side and just add as many as you want. And yes, if you do happen to change the color of your model and create like a new file for it, you have to re-add all the hotkeys to that color, like to that new color version of your model. So it's, yeah, self-explanatory, but I know some people have issues figuring out how to do this, so... Tada! And uh, if you don't know, I will be streaming first time on YouTube this Friday, the 27th of January at 8 p.m. PST. If you guys would stop by, say hi. We'll start using this model and I'm very excited to uh, start playing new games this year. And if you have any other tutorials you want me to do, feel free to comment below and I will do them. All right. Bye.